This is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live here at the 2016 LD Micro Invitational in Bel Air, California. With me right now is Garrett Jackson from Cafe Press Inc. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is PRSS. Garrett, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you. Glad to be here. It's great to have you on the program. For our audience that may not know the Cafe Press story yet, right. let's get a company overview. Great. Great. Cafe Press is the world's best online gift shop. We have over 1 billion products from t-shirts and mugs to duvet covers and shower curtains. Um, if you don't find something that you like there and there are 35 million designs, we actually can make something for you on your own or you can create your own product. So, so, so what's the history of the company? and? And how come the name Cafe Press? How come? How did that sure. all fit into? Sure. So Cafe Press really was uh, kind of founded by Fred Durham and Mahesh Jain in a garage in uh, San Mateo, and uh, through that, you know, they were trying to get online products kind of to the uh, customers and pr provide an e-commerce experience for them. Over the years, all that content was put together uh, into one large category called our marketplace, which was then sold uh, through Google AdWords and other things like that, uh, which is where Cafe Press really started to expand and explode. So, all right, so the content, that's really the main driver here. So how did you, how did you get all this content to then sell. Sure, sure. Well, we have over 2 million content providers and designers that get a commission on each product that we sell. Uh, within that, we also have licensed content providers such as entertainment companies and others that we can generate content for and products for as well. So, so from what I understand, then you have some entertainment licenses as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we have uh, Marvel is a big player for us. Um, so is. Um, uh, Warner Brothers, and what we found done recently is we just signed something with Pixar for the new Finding Dory movie, as well as Captain America: Civil War. And what kind of products have you been making with with those lessons? Uh, you know, T-shirts, mugs, all kinds of different things. If you go to Cafe Press, CafePress.com, you can definitely find uh, those products out there. And, and do they have an exclusive with you for these types of products? Or uh, in, some, in, in a lot of cases, some of the designs are exclusive. Some of them are fan generated as well, which is something unique sometimes for our Cafe Press experience. So versus where you can maybe go to Walmart or others and just get one or two designs, you may find a, a plethora of designs at CafePress.com. And so they would only be able to get these, these uh, products at Cafe Press. They wouldn't be able to get it anywhere else. Uh, some of the products, yes, would be unique to Cafe Press. Uh, not all of them, but some. Right. So what I want to know is a little bit more about the market penetration because we're talking sure. about an industry where, you know, there's lots of online sure. retailers. You, you know, sure. everybody's looking for the best deal. So where does Cafe Press fit in with that? Sure. Well, Cafe Press, as I said before, is what we believe is the leading online retailer in the you know, gift space. And But what we're really uh, trying to do is appeal to everybody in the gifts that, that they have that want unique gifts. And so we have the perfect item for every passion. That's what we're shooting for. That's what we shoot for uh, from a purpose and vision standpoint. And we want to be the re leading retailer in that space. And that's why if you can't find it, we can make it for you or you can make it on your own. So what I'm curious about is what are some of like the, the leading products, you know, when you're when you're looking at sure. seeing what's sold the most, you know, what what do customers usually buy? Sure. A lot of a lot of garments sold. So uh, T shirts are usually, you know, T shirts and garments are around fifty percent of our product mix. Outside of that, you know, mugs and then a plethora of other gifts. We have almost 400 base goods that we can print on uh, with those 35 million images, which is how we get to over a billion products that we can sell to you. And now what I want to know is um, when it comes to growth plans for the company, how you plan on expanding sure. and, and sure. getting more customers and then right. same customers making more acquisitions, what are your plans for that from what, from what you can tell me? Sure. Uh, well, really, right now, we're trying to rebuild our store experience. So we founded in 1999, so we're still somewhat on the old uh, web platform. And we've got to move to more of the uh, platform with mobile and social kind of connected to it. Well, that's a big project. Right. It is a big project. There's a lot of work underway this year um, to do that. And we're focusing on that customer experience first, trying to find the things that help conversion the most. Uh, from there, you know, we'll also get into e-commerce tools. As we evolved from the garage in 1999 to where we are today, uh, the tool sets definitely have changed and our marketing team really needs a set of tools that we can 
uh, design and, and market certain products on the site better than what, what's available to us today. So your main capital expenditures really is, you know, obviously going to be the website redesign and then on right. marketing. I mean, right. tell me a little bit about how you do market currently and how you plan sure. on changing that. Sure. Well, our market penetration a lot right now is through Google and the words that we have. So with those 35 million designs, we have a huge millions of keywords that we, we advertise and search with. And, um, you know, that will likely continue to be a source of our revenue. But where we're really focusing is on repeat customers. And we're trying to get people to come back multiple times and visit through their whole site experience. And so we're moving more from a transactional culture of Google into a customer culture. And with that customer culture, we're going to focus on those areas where we can find repeat customers and have more opportunities to, uh, to pitch products to them that's in their life cycle of their lifetime of moments and events. Rewards programs and stuff like that. A uh, little bit less on rewards, more uh, more on things like if you, for instance, uh, bought a baby onesie, then we might know that um, you know you actually have a kid, and that you have uh, other Mother's Day, Father's Day, and events that we might be able to market to you. And so, understanding our customer, what they're passionate about, and what they're passionate for, and how they want to express themselves, as we find that more through social channels, through our own our own data, we're going to try to pitch that a little bit more into the product mix of, of how we can talk to you, interact with you more, and then that might lead to more repeat sales in the, in the future. Okay, so again, from what you can tell me, what are some of the goals and milestones for the company moving ahead? Sure, sure. Well, right now, this year is definitely a year where we're focused on trying to maintain some margins. We're trying to keep our contribution margin around 25%. Uh, revenues have been a key focus, uh, you know, that we're trying to get, get back in shape. Uh, we expect that uh, some of the things that we're doing will uh, kind of shrink the revenue decline that we have had. We are in a turnaround situation. And so from that situation, we're hoping that the projects that we have will help us kind of get back to a flat or uh, maybe a slight growth by Q4 at some point in time on the revenues. At the same time, um, you know, we're looking to kind of make sure that we maintain profitability at that margin level uh, and then start to add that scale back in. And so with the contribution margin at 25%, what we're really hoping for is that we're able to, um, we're able to actually uh, take a couple percent because we're at 27% right now and use that in the marketing to test and tune and find new marketing uh, methods to generate more revenue to put a, the scale onto our model. And where can our audience go and find more information about Cafe Press? You can go to cafepress.com and cafepressinc.com for company and financial information. My name is Robert Kraft and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live and we're here at the 2016 LD Micro Invitational in Bel Air, California. With me again is Garrett Jackson from Cafe Press Inc. The symbol is P-R-S-S. -S. Thank you so much. Thank you.